Hey there, welcome back to Anybody Can Prompt's weekly research highlights. We've got some awesome papers for you today. Dive into LLM, Bias Index, Mass Pile, Sec QA, and more. Links are included in the description. First up, a study introduces a novel metric, the Large Language Model Bias Index, LLMBI, to measure biases in models like GPT-4. This tool uses a comprehensive scoring system to evaluate biases related to age, gender, race, and more. Its implementation involves collecting LLM responses, applying NLP techniques for bias detection, and computing the LLMBI score. This research provides a quantifiable measure for comparing biases across models and time, emphasizing the need for continuous monitoring to align models with ethical standards. Next, we explore a paper focusing on the responsible use of AI-generated content. The study identifies eight primary concerns hindering AIGC's healthy development, including privacy bias, IP issues, and environmental impact. It emphasizes proactive measures for mitigating risks in data sources, models, and processing steps. This paper serves as a guideline for companies and users to adopt responsible AI practices. The third paper introduces MathPile, a diverse 9.5 billion token corpus aimed at enhancing the mathematical reasoning abilities of language models. It prioritizes data quality over quantity, incorporating extensive pre-processing and deduplication. This corpus focuses on bridging the gap in mathematical content, offering a rich and diverse resource for language models. Another study presents SecQA, a dataset for evaluating large language models in computer security. It assesses LLM's understanding and application of security principles using multiple choice questions. The dataset offers a concise benchmark for future advancements in this critical research area, highlighting the capabilities and limitations of current models. In the realm of accuracy, researchers propose an induced then contrast decoding strategy to alleviate hallucinations in large language models. This approach involves constructing a factually weak LLM and penalizing these induced hallucinations during decoding. The method has shown effectiveness in enhancing factuality across various model sizes and families. Focusing on the e-commerce domain, a paper introduces Ecom GPT, CT, a model exploring continual pre-training using e-commerce semi-structured data. It assesses LLM's few-shot learning ability and zero-shot performance, demonstrating the effectiveness of continual pre-training in the e-commerce domain. Another groundbreaking study proposes LLM 10REC, a two-stage framework for explainable recommendations using large language models. This framework separates recommendation generation from explanation, utilizing LLMs as explanation generators. It provides a flexible and universal approach to generating personalized textual explanations evaluated across various benchmarks. Lastly, a study rethinks tabular data understanding using LLMs. It investigates the robustness of LLMs to structural perturbations in tables and compares textual versus symbolic reasoning. The study proposes a method for table structure normalization and a mixed self-consistency mechanism, significantly enhancing performance in table QA tasks. Subscribe to Anybody Can Prompt's YouTube channel today for more exciting developments in the world of generative AI. And remember, Anybody Can Prompt.